Wait a minute, so you're telling me that cyberpsychosis is not real? Well, there are some theories floating around the cyberpunk fandom that suggest we may have been deeply wrong about cyberpsychosis, and in this video, we'll be breaking down the theories and scrutinizing their validity. My initial interest in this theory was sparked by a YouTube video by Bumper Jumper, which gives an excellent overview to some of the most compelling points that cyberpsychosis is either not real or at the very least widely misunderstood in the lore. But that video mostly covers the Edge Runners anime, leaving out some crucial things from Cyberpunk 2077, like Regina Jones and Lizzie Wizzy's quest lines. So I hope to expand the conversation with this video. I'll put a link to Bumper Jumper's original video in the description if you want to check that out. But first things first, what is cyberpsychosis? The Cyberpunk 2020 sourcebook defines cyberpsychosis as a mental disease in which the addition of cybernetics causes an already unstable personality to fragment. The cyberpsycho must constantly fight to keep from going over the edge and committing irrational, violent acts of murder and mayhem. The crucial point is that cyberpsychosis is purportedly caused by the cybernetic implants, which essentially pushes an augmented person who already had pre-existing mental issues over the edge. So what evidence do we have in the cyberpunk universe that cyberpsychosis isn't real? For starters, let's take a look at MaxTAC, the NCPD's elite SWAT team dedicated to responding to cyberpsycho threats. This unit is entirely made up of cyberpsychos, so why aren't these soldiers rampaging and mowing down civilians in the streets? I believe it's the specific nature of their work that keeps them in check. Cyberpsychos who work for MaxTAC or have corporate enforcer jobs like Adam Smasher have a legal outlet for their violent tendencies. We see this firsthand during the cyberpsycho attack at the Jinguji store in Cyberpunk 2077. After the cyberpsycho is neutralized, we can speak with the MaxTAC officer, Melissa Rory, and she seems to revel in the killing. Nice work. You feel that back there? Feel his life leave his body? You always just wipe him? You know, her therapy can sometimes work. Apprehending the target alive carries additional risk for bystanders. Rarely done. Very rarely. Rarely. More like, never. How many psychos you save in your life? Don't change the subject. You felt him die. Did you... Like it? That split second when the blood still flows, but his light's gone out? So yeah, I don't think we can rule out Max Tax soldiers as cyberpsychos simply because they're not constantly massacring civilians. It's likely their training and the nature of their work that prevents them from going postal. But what about criminal organizations like the Chrome Domes in Maelstrom? Why aren't these guys turning cyberpsycho at an alarming rate? You'd expect them to be prime victims, right? Well, some Maelstrom gang goods do end up slipping into cyberpsychosis, as we see during Regina Jones' psycho killer questline in Cyberpunk 2077. In fact, three of the cyberpsycho sightings in this questline involve Maelstrom members who went off the deep end. A kidnapped Valentino gang goon goes full on psycho after having some involuntary cybernetic augmentation via Maelstrom. One of the last holdouts who supported Brick also starts lighting up his former homies after getting more implants. And then we have the weird blood ritual. So just from our in-game encounters, we see Maelstrom members going cyberpsycho at a higher rate than any other gang in Night City. And then we have the current Maelstrom leader, Royce. Brick got it. Ugh. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? Seems like a pretty stable guy to me, right? <laughs> I mean, Royce flies off the handle at the slightest provocation and seems to take pure joy in violence when attacked by either V or Militech. But what keeps the rest of Maelstrom gang members from getting involved in typical cyberpsycho antics like killing civilians or police? Just like Max Tack, it's the nature of their daily activities. Maelstrom is a very violent gang, so their members are somewhat kept in check by having that outlet. Hell, they attacked a heavily outfitted Militech convoy to retrieve the Flathead bot. Not many other gangs would risk such a feat, so Maelstrom fits the bill for being a gang full of cyberpsychos. It's important to keep in mind here that cyberpsychosis and cybernetic augmentation in general is a spectrum. 
Some individuals will be able to get fully chromed out and end up just fine. Like David, they're just built different. Others may start to slip after a simple Karoshi implant, like that Valentino gangbanger I mentioned earlier. And in many cyberpsycho incidents, there is an external event that pushes them over the edge. Let's take the case of Lizzy Wizzy, popular Night City musician who had her entire personality transferred into a fully chrome body. Lizzy started exhibiting symptoms of onset cyberpsychosis, violent thoughts, mood swings, etc. But it was the discovery that her boyfriend was planning to copy her personality construct without her knowledge that pushed her into a violent outburst. Another thing that muddies the waters is that the cyberpsycho label ends up being colloquially applied to anyone with Chrome who commits some kind of violent crime. Are all of these people truly cyberpsychotic, or were they simply driven to the brink by the desperation of their circumstances? Just one look at the news headlines in America will show that you don't need a body full of Chrome to go on a shooting spree. And poring over the data shards of cyberpsycho incidents in Regina's questline shows that some of these individuals had pretty messed up lives that may have pushed them over the edge, chrome or not. One of the more sinister fan theories suggests that cyberpsychosis may not be the result of cybernetic augmentation directly, but hacking by nefarious actors such as corpos or rogue AIs. Sandra Dorset uncovered a secret Night Corp project where the company was experimenting with AI technology to hack the augmentations of their own employees, driving some of them to violent actions. In compliance with the orders it was given, CN07 focused mostly on subject HK13, which at the time of the experiment's commencement was classified as calm and empathetic. After a period of subliminal conditioning, as we predicted, HK-13 began to display acute psychopathic behavior. The highlight was a dispute over coffee, during which HK-13 strangled one of their colleagues, then jumped out of the 16th floor window of the research facility. And then we have the curious case of Mr. Blue Eyes and the plot against Jefferson Perales. There is evidence that suggests Mr. Blue Eyes is actually a puppet being controlled by a rogue AI. But he's not exactly a cyber psycho, is he? He's not out there mowing down civilians. He's just potentially manipulating the minds of an upstart politician and his wife. I've done a full video on the theory surrounding Mr. Blue Eyes if you want to explore that subject further. While these theories are strong in isolation, I don't think we can automatically apply them to every single cyber psychotic incident throughout Night City without additional evidence. The existence of real cyberpsychosis and hacking by corkbows and rogue AIs are not mutually exclusive, so I would need to see more proof before jumping to the conclusion that all cyberpsychos are being hacked and mind controlled. At the end of the day, I'm not really convinced by any of these theories. I do think cyberpsychosis is real within the cyberpunk universe, but there are some clear misconceptions and misapplications of the label. So what do you think of these theories? Is cyberpsychosis a real condition in cyberpunk, or is it fake? Let me know in the comments below. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to Big Dan Gaming for more cyberpunk and RPG videos. Big shout out to all the channel members for supporting my content. Until next time, this has been Big Dan. I should go.